Well, a serious health alert and an expanding investigation into frozen berries sold at Costco. Yeah, this is a scary one for sure. The state health department has confirmed three cases of hepatitis A, all linked to those berries, one in Kauai, two here on Oahu. And in one of those cases, the person was hospitalized. KITV4's Laura Yamada joins us with the latest and what you need to watch out for. Lara. Well, Yunji, health departments nationwide are taking this very seriously, and for good reason. At least 34 cases in six states are now linked to an outbreak of the highly contagious hepatitis A. Now, this is the product that appears to have triggered it. It's called Townsend Farms Organic Antioxidant Blend, sold at Costco stores nationwide from late February through the end of May. So we're looking at a long time when you know, the product was out there. That's just one of the problems for Dr. Sarah Park, who's trying to get a hold of the scope of a hepatitis outbreak here, with three cases in Hawaii confirmed, two more on their radar, and phone lines ringing off the hook. It's difficult because who shops at Costco? You know, it's not just the average person. What mom and pop business may have been buying their product and using it to make smoothies in their store? We don't know. You bought the product? Yeah. Yeah. Is it in your fridge? Um. I think it's still in my freezer. Despite their expanding investigation, the FDA and CDC are still calling it an alert, not a recall. Costco going the extra mile anyway. These kind of things happen. It's unavoidable. I think Costco took the right measures. I'm confident that they have it under control. It's still unclear if the entire supply was tainted, but starting last week, Costco pulled all of it off its store shelves and started calling customers to warn them of the alert. I didn't even get a notice or anything, so I'm glad you came and found me. It's alarming, actually. Your urine turns dark, your, you know, your skin turns yellow, your eyes, the whites of your eyes turn yellow. If you have a package that's contaminated and you're not vaccinated and you eat it, you will get infected. Um, the question is, how severe are your symptoms going to be? Park says some people who ate the product may not have symptoms at all, while others could be facing months of illness in an outbreak still undefined. That's scary. I'm going to go throw it away now. Yeah. Now, Park says if you think you ate the product within the past two weeks, you should get vaccinated. But beyond that, the vaccination may not work. Either way, she says you should consult with your doctor if you have any concerns. Now, an important note it cannot be spread through coughing or sneezing, but fecal matter. So remember to wash your hands. We have a number of links on our website. With more information, just go to the As Seen On section of KITV.com. Back to you. Very good.